In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the second law to predict spontaneous change. So when we are predicting whether a reaction is spontaneous or not, the equation that we're going to use is calculating the delta S for the whole entire universe. And we get this by taking the delta S of the reaction or the delta S of the system, however you want to phrase it, and subtracting the delta H of the reaction or the delta H of the system divided by the temperature. If the delta S of the universe is positive, then that means that the reaction is spontaneous. In this problem, we're not going to actually be calculating the value of the delta S of the universe. We're just simply going to be predicting the sign. And we're going to do that using the information that's being given to us, like the way the system is being described. So in this situation, in the first situation, it says that we have a solid that is absorbing heat and turning into a gas. The phrase absorbing heat is giving us a hint about the delta H of the reaction. If it is absorbing heat, that means that it has a positive delta H, so it is increasing its enthalpy. And turning into a gas is giving us a hint about the change in entropy for that reaction. Going from a solid to a gas means that it is becoming more ordered, or excuse me, more disordered. So that's a positive delta S. So let's see how we're going to um, put these two numbers together, or signs, I guess, together to come up with a delta S of the universe. The delta S of the universe is going to come from our positive value of delta S. And we don't know exactly what it is. We just know that it's a positive number minus the positive value of our delta H divided by a temperature, which is just gonna keep it a positive number. So we're going to calculate the delta S of the universe by taking some positive number and subtracting another positive number. And we're trying to figure out if the outcome of this math equation is going to be a positive number or a negative number. We really can't predict that from this particular equation because it depends on the size of these two numbers. So for example, just putting some random numbers in there, if the delta S was five and the delta H was three, this would give us a positive number. And so yes, the reaction would be spontaneous. But if the delta S was three and the delta H was five, this would give us a negative number and it would be not spontaneous. Because of that just kind of conflicting um, information there, we can't decide if this reaction is spontaneous or not with the information that's been given to us. In order to decide, we need to know the actual values, not just the signs of these. Let's try the next one. The next one tells us that we have an exothermic chemical reaction. Exothermic is telling us that this is a negative delta H. And it's saying that it's a reaction between a solid and a liquid that's producing gaseous products. So this information about the reaction is telling us that we're increasing in entropy. So that's a positive delta S, solid and a liquid turning into a gas. So let's use that information to make a prediction, if we can, about the change in entropy for the universe. Uh, we know that the change in entropy for the reaction is going to be a positive number. So I'm just going to put, that, uh, put a plus sign in parentheses. And then from that, we're going to subtract the delta H of the reaction. And then we know the delta H of the reaction is going to be a negative number. So we have a positive number minus a negative number. Mathematically, um, that just means we're gonna have a positive number plus some other number, like the way the math works out, a negative minus a negative. Let's just put some arbitrary numbers in here. Let's say that the delta S is five and the delta H is negative three. This would work out to be a positive eight. And no matter what numbers we plug in, to uh, the delta S and the delta H, we're always going to be getting a positive entropy. And because of that, this reaction we know is going to be spontaneous. So regardless of the values of these numbers, it's always going to give us a positive outcome over here. The number will always be positive. Let's try one more. Here we have a solid substance dissolving in water. So dissolving this solid in water means that we are increasing the entropy. Anytime we dissolve anything or mix anything, we increase the entropy and it's releasing heat. So that means we have a negative delta H. 
This is exactly the same as the signs that we had in the previous problem, but I'm gonna walk through it one more time because I know that this is really tricky. This is a problem that just requires a lot of concentration. So the delta S of the universe coming from this equation up here is going to be the entropy for the reaction, which we know is a positive number. So I'm just gonna put a plus in parentheses. And then from that, we are going to subtract delta H over T. Delta H is a negative number. So again, we have some positive number minus some negative number, I'll say negative two this time. And that's gonna always work out, mathematically always will work out to be a positive number. So that one is spontaneous.